Good morning, good morning. Welcome in to my truck or Rudy show here. Hey, guess what? It's due for a haircut. As you can see, all my hair is sticking up over there. And hey, I got a uh, cousin here in town that does uh, cut hair. She's got her license and everything. Yep, she loves cutting hair. So guess what? I'm going to go head over there. I'm going to take my wife with me. We're gonna fix up our hair. Gonna look real cool after that. Yeah, I don't look good anyways, but my wife does. But so let's get down there and get the haircut. Well, here we go. We got ourselves a haircut done. We're looking much better. Well, at least our hair looks much better. Yep. At least we're gonna look more like a professional driver now. Not like a hippie. Oh well. At least we got that taken care of. Now I got some other business to take care of. Now here we are. It is in the morning already the next day. So uh, I can't help that. That's, that's what's ending up uh, happening. Or that's what ended up happening is uh, we got invited yesterday to my dad's place uh, for dinner. So I didn't uh, do any videotaping after that anymore. Well, I could have done some during the day, but I didn't do anything. So, uh, anyways, yesterday uh, evening, I went, or afternoon, I went to go pick up my truck. It was almost uh, 4.30 or whatever. It's starting to get dark up here in Canada, you know. But I wanted to show you guys something that I had to get replaced. This is the strap that I was telling you about that was broken there the other day. Yep, it broke off right in there where, uh, where it's attached to the, uh, to the frame. And uh, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about uh, how much this this strap right here, this strap right here. Hold on to your pants on how much that thing cost. Just that strap alone was nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. I couldn't believe it. I mean, that is expensive. And then they got a uh, rubber rubber shim right be behind there, right? That's a hundred dollars just for that robber shim. That was expensive. I couldn't believe it, but anyways, I got a few more air leaks done. Uh, they found a few more air leaks right there by the air tanks and stuff like that. So we got that fixed. But I still have an air leak somewhere in the back there because my airbags were still empty this morning. But at least my air tanks weren't 100% empty. I still had about 50 psi in there. So that means my air tanks uh, leaks have been fixed because before they were uh, completely empty, you know, and now they're no longer empty. So that is at least a bonus. So now we just got to find a leak towards the airbag. So uh, we'll do that next time when we get home or whatever. And uh, anyways, we'll cut it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you liked the video and also share the video. If you liked it, somebody else would probably like it. And down there below, there is a subscription button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And follow me on my journey. I make all kinds of interesting videos. At least I hope to think so. That some of them should be interested. Not all of them, but some of them would be. So uh, with that, have a good day, good night, whatever it is for you. And we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thanks for watching.